Dario, this was a very back and forth game. Does this team need to bring a little more energy and effort in the second half? Of course, you need to try to find the energy in every aspect, you know, with offensive rebound, with a good defense. And I think this uh, team is capable to do these things. And uh, that's the only way how you need to play basketball 100% in every moment. And I think we'll do that in the second half. It's the little things that go a long way, guys. Thanks, Ali. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. You know, some have said those old-school power forwards, guys like Charles Oakley, they're becoming outdated. You see that, Grant? Well, first of all, the physicality in the game is no more. The way Oakley would hit you and bruise you, you can't do that in today's game. And guys like Oakley are now playing the five position, and they're shooting three-pointers. So a lot of it just is because the game has changed and evolved since the 90s when Oakley dominated. A great skill level in the game right now. No question. They've got LaMelo Ball. Dario Saric is out there with Desmond Bain. And it's Richardson in at the shooting guard position. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Now here's Ball. Outside Richardson. To the middle. Goes up at the stripe. The Lakers with a rebound. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Thanks a lot. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo has won MVPs, Defensive Player of the Year, and a championship. But he says, quote, I am not satisfied. As the leader of this team, that's the tone I set. I don't care about trophies. I care about getting better, and that's what I've done my entire career. Ryan, he stays focused. Nose to the grindstone, Al. Thanks for that. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. There's the steal. Down low. And it's Washington missing. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. Lays it up and banks it in. And it's an eight-point Charlotte lead. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. If you look at the history of the Lakers, they've always had elite big men. That tradition goes all the way back to George Mikan in the 40s. Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. The Los Angeles Lakers, home to some of the greatest bigs of all time, Richard. Yeah, Wilt, Kareem, Shaq, Pau Gasol, the Lake Show winning titles with those large dudes, proving that size does matter in this league. They grab their own miss. Richardson for three. Back to ball. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Washington, a screen on Bain. There's the drive. Boom! He jams it straight down. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. No doubt. That's the kind of play that can energize the whole team. And they will take it in a close game like this. So it's the Hornets now. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Pass the ball. Here's Bain. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps possession. Six on the shot clock. Sharich, the pass to Bain. Misses the three. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Ooh. Out of the Kumpo, outside. 
And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. An MVP caliber talent, the rise of Giannis from scrawny teenager to bulked up superstar has been great to watch. Giannis at the point guard, going to the line, shooting two. So one for two that time at the stripe. The Hornets with the lead. Richardson's got space. Offensive rebound. Controls the rebound and the putback. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. And there's the drive. Tipped. Ball outside. Shot on the wing. Rebounded by the Lakers. Anadokounmpo's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Richardson. Two points. That one goes. He's got 26. Nah, he's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Lakers making a change here. Here's a look at some stats for him. So it's the Hornets now. Three point lead. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. And the Hornets lead by five. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Washington a screen. Melton passes to Washington. Misses in close. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Inside. And there's Sharich on the assist by Ball. And now a seven-point Hornet lead. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Brown, a screen on Ball. Pass to Brown. And there's the call on LaMelo Ball. That's his first foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Here's Mann. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Washington, a screen on ball. Here's Mann. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Oh, deflected by ball. And since halftime, they've really turned up defensively. Melton against Richardson. Looking to get it going. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. All right, Richard, I was looking over your accomplishments, doing a little extra prep on you. An NBA title with the Cavs, a state title in high school, and almost won it all in college in Arizona. Is that the one what if in your career? Oh no, thank you for bringing those up. But uh, yeah, I have tons of what ifs. I had, you know, obviously the college championship. I also got Athens in the hope for And look, just for giggles, I also like to talk about the two times I lost in the NBA Finals going against Shaq and Kobe, then Tim Duncan, David Robinson, and Manu Ginobili. But the funny thing is, it's not like they didn't have Hall of Fame head coaches. It was only Phil Jackson and Greg Popovich. So, you know, I've run into a few buzz saws in my day. Now here's Ball. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Brown, a screen on Richardson. Washington passes to Brown. Here's Mann. Back to Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Slaying in with the one-hand slam. That right there was a statement finish. Ball with it. Hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. And Ball throws it down. 
and he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. And that finish shows you how dangerous he can be as a passer and a finisher. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Sharad shot is off. The Lakers trail. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And it's Washington missing. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Now here's Bain. He's got 13. Goes back up. Brown with the block. And they'll keep possession. And a quick look at the teams who repeatedly get the job done from the line. The Hornets, third. And this is a team that knocks down their free throws at an elite rate. Whoever they go up against should always try to avoid fouling them at all costs. So for the Hornets, Archie Diakados checked in for Sharic. Diallo comes in for Richardson. And it's Johnson in for LaMelo Ball. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Johnson, he's checked in for Brown. Lamb comes in for Washington. Thibel, he's checked in for Mann. And Nix is subbed in for Melton. Los Angeles shooting 55% for the game so far. Here's Nix. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Oh, they pick off the pass. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Johnson a screen on Diallo. White the pass to Johnson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Charlotte Hornets. On Sunday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Memphis, going up against the Grizzlies. And then on Tuesday, they'll kick off a homestand, starting with the Milwaukee Bucks. And for their matchup with the Bulls, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more even pairing in the league. That one promises to be a really closely fought battle. The Hornets making a switch here. Grimes has checked in. Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolute terrible shooting display. Here's Nix. Shot clock at six. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. The fit call the foul and he'll take two free throws now and so he's picked up his final foul and he'll sit the rest of this one out Sharich checks in for Charlotte all right guys what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Charlotte and he makes a first and that one goes in two from the line that time and for the Hornets they're shooting just 38 percent their offense not where they want to be pass to Grimes Kick out to Johnson for three. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Melton passes to Anadokounmpo. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. The offensive arsenal of Giannis continuing to expand over time. This guy is a wrecking ball. The Hornets with a lead. Now here's Johnson. Right now he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Looking to get back on track. And he takes it up and lays it in. Johnson's got four points this quarter. 
and, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Screen by Antetokounmpo. Dybul with it. Picked up by Sharic. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. And look at Giannis using his length inside, allowing him to beat the contact and get the finish. And here are the Hornets now. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. 19-footer. The shot by Johnson, no good. Well, the Lakers shooting just 36% in the third. Now here's Kumpo. Not a lot of room. Giannis with the jam. Oh, showing power and grace in the air. Giannis, one of the best dunkers in the game today. 156 left in the third. Pass to Grimes. Sharich a screen to the paint. Deflects the pass. Dybul with a steal. Anadokounmpo outside. Melton passes to Anadokounmpo. Misses from short range. And for Charlotte, they're shooting just about 33% since this second half started. Archie Diacono, off target from three-point range. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Outside Johnson. There's a screen. Pass to Theibel. Anadokounmpo, right side. Just four to shoot. Here he goes. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. <laughs> Beyond belief. I mean, such a creative talent. And I'm not surprised to see Giannis get flashy on the finish. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And really strong at the line since the break. And a moment to look at the scoring approach. In terms of where the points are coming from for the Lakers. At the line for the first free throw is good. He's off on the second. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on an 11-3 run. Pass to Knicks. Outside Johnson. Sharich brings the double team. The Hornets pull it in. Sharich has got his fifth rebound in this one. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Sharich is screen on Melton to the inside. Sharich shot is off. And it's in there. And he's got 28 now. Unbelievable. You talk about players who have transformed this league. Giannis is at the top of that list. Just a tremendous pass right there. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. It's the Hornets up three. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. It's the fourth quarter. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. We've got Derek White, and it's Anadokounmpo in at the center position, locking down the middle. 
And <laughs> once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Now here's Johnson. All alone. Perfection. Beautiful stroke. And the Hornets lead by three. Well, Los Angeles shooting about 56% in this one. Anadokounmpo with it. And Johnson picks him up defensively. And the basket by Anadokounmpo. Strong pass there to set up the basket. Outside Richardson. There's a screen. Shoots over White. The Lakers with a rebound. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. To take the lead. Here's Anadokounmpo. And the layup is good. anadokounmpo has got 15 points here in the second half. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. From deep, Johnson gets the three to fall. Oh, this one has turned into an absolute nail-biter. Yeah, at this point, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. The Lakers have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. That shot is off. Ooh, he really came close to leveling the score there. You love the intensity out there right now. Close game. Both teams leaving it all out there. Here's Richardson. Doesn't go that time. And the Lakers going the other way now. Ana Kumpo inside. Covered by Johnson. Ana de Kumpo. Bam. Ana de Kumpo has got 38 points. The Hornets have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. To the wing on the left. Archie Diacono. The three-pointer off the mark. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Hey, yo. Right here. Pass to Lamb. Hana de Kumpo, a screen on Johnson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. First one falls for him. Martin, he's checked in for Charlotte. Bain comes in for Archie Diacono. Brown, he's checked in for the Lakers. Washington comes in for White. That one misses, so he goes one for two. It wasn't perfect, but it was enough to give them the lead. Richardson finds Martin. Back to Richardson. Takes a three. He drops it from range. And the Hornets lead by two. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. The Lakers call timeout. And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead. Lamelo Ball, he's checked in for Martin. All right, let's get a report from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. He was harping on the number of offensive rebounds that they've given up. He told them they have to recommit to the defensive glass. He said, quote, we're not walking away with the W if we don't box out. A simple message, guys, but an important one. Okay, thanks, Allie. Oh, man, he got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. Now here's Ball. Sharich, a screen on Washington. Ball no good. The Lakers have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Back to Washington. It's Brown on the wing. Five to shoot. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Personal foul. At the line for the Lakers. Number 15. At the line. One shot. Charlotte trailing. Got a hand on it, and they get it back. Pass to Bain. Second shot opportunity. No luck on that one. For Los Angeles, they've gotten almost all of their shots to fall in the fourth. Six of seven. 
little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. And that one's good. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Ball outside. Shara to screen. Defended by Brown. On the wing, Bain. Just five to shoot. Brown with the block. Here's Mann. Right side, Lamb. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. Charlotte has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Here's Ball. Deflected. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. Driving to the... Oh, oh big finish! Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, I see you. Looks like they're gaining some confidence here in crunch time. Building out this lead brick by brick. They have taken a very methodical approach. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. And here are the Hornets now. They trail by nine. Pass to Richardson to halt the run. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got assist number seven tonight. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. And he drives in. Oh, oh sensational! Yes. What a dunk! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Hauled in by Brown. Brown's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And there's the call on the mellow ball. That's his third foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. Melton's checked in. The third team foul. Coming on to the fourth for the Lakers. The Anthony Melton. And the call will be against Dario Saric. That's his third foul of the game. Saric. Third personal foul. Fourth. Long range from the inbound. That one is off. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Ball outside. To the paint. Stolen by Melton. Here's Mann. Pass to Washington. Second chance shot. Let's it go from deep. Sinks it from distance. He has 45 points. <laughs> Woo! That man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. Effort like this makes you wonder if they've already packed it in for the game, ready to go on to the next. Gotta at least show a little heart out here. Now here's Richardson. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep, Bain. 
Not on target. Four for nine in this one. His three-point shooting kind of dried up in the second half. He is... Oh, oh my hey! Goodness. How wow. about that? Wow! That type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation. point or maybe even a question mark a shot to stop the run Brown with the block time called here Los Angeles decides to talk it over good idea to call timeout it looked like the guys were getting some heavy legs out there Completely new group for the Lakers. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. And here's White. Johnson a screen on ball. White can't hit. Even though he's undersized, he's making an impact on the glass, looking fearless right now. Pass to Richardson to win the drought, and the three-pointer goes. Richardson's got nine points now in the quarter. And he's quickly up to four made threes in this game. Sheesh, get this man the rock. White against ball. It's stolen by Sharich. Now the Hornets moving it up. Here's Richardson, and the big dunk at the end of the break. They found strong offensive footing in the open court. And they need to use that momentum, find their way back via fast break points. Now here's Beasley. It's Lamb on the wing. There's the screen by Johnson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Personal foul, team that one's off. And the second free throw is good. Charlotte has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. Now Richardson. Takes the three. And again, Charlotte with the triple. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. I think when you've got it going from three-point range, you've got to keep it going. It's a good way to kind of pile up the points quickly. Now here's Lamb. Outside Dival. Back to Lamb. Shot from 12. Not going to go that time. Now Charlotte takes it the other way. Inside. Here's Sharich, and he banks in the layup. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. 
but it took them a little while to get there. Just goes to show as long as you persevere, you'll figure your way out. Johnson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Now went on ball. <laughs> no debate there. He got him. He's off on the first. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Rare sight. How often does he fail to capitalize at the line? Pass to Richardson. The shot. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Richardson's got 15 points here in the second half. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Changes here for the Lakers. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for Lamb. Melton comes in for Beasley. And Nix is subbed in for White. Pass to Nix. Back to Antetokounmpo. And out of bounds. Charlotte will have it. Here are the Hornets with the ball. They're on a 12 to 1 run. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. This has not been his best quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. The shot by Johnson, no good. There wasn't a lot of resistance there at the rim. He just, he just tricked off a little bunny. Ball passes to Richardson. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And Giannis with the dunk. <laughs> and he is just showing off right now. I mean, he's giving you leadership. Giannis just takes pride in stepping up and hitting those big shots. Now here's Ball. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Good on the first. And that narrows the lead down to just three. And so Ball nails both of them. And in a close game like this, they can really rely on him to take care of business at the line. Anadokupo finds Johnson. 124 left to play in the fourth. Pass to Thibel. Now Anadokounmpo. Charge covers. Lock at four. Shots good by Anadokounmpo. You expect this from an MVP like Giannis. He never gives up on the game. Woo! Gotta love it. Now here's Ball. Into the lane. Anadokounmpo with the block. Melton outside. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Down low. Here's Johnson. Pass to Nix. Fires from deep. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. It's all come down to this. One critical possession. And B.A., you can feel the intensity in this arena. The floater. And he buries it. And he's brought them within two points now. And talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Charlotte calls timeout. They're trailing by two. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And 
we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Now here's Ball. Defense right on him. To tie it up! And he sinks it! A huge shot to tie it up! Now Los Angeles with it. To the middle. Here's Ana de Kumpo. It's in! Just consistent and pretty much automatic. Antetokounmpo may be the league's most efficient score inside 10 feet. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. They're down by two. Only two seconds left to play in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? I would honestly attempt to get the ball near the rim because even if the shot doesn't fall, a quick putback will suffice. Count if it goes. Oh, that shot had a chance. But the all-or-nothing shot attempt is off the mark. So it's a narrow victory for the Lakers. Pulling it out for the W. And this was an emotional win for them. No doubt about it. <laughs> just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Giannis. You said these games start to matter more as you come down the stretch. Can you tell me more about that? We just come out here, try to play good basketball, try to play together, and try to get better. You know, we just try to get in that playoff shape and uh, just get better. Championship always on your mind. Thanks, Giannis. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. Now New Balance presents the player of the game.